Hey guys, just a quick disclaimer. A lot of you are wondering why we're allowed to film here. It's because we're a small film crew and we're adhering to the government guidelines. If you want more information, feel free to email me at boulderingboba at gmail.com and click on the link below in the description and you'll find more info about our COVID guidelines. Okay, goodbye. Hey guys, this video was brought to you by Squarespace. Stop talking about F1, it's the wrong sport. Sorry, sorry. Um... <laughs> what are we doing today, guys? I'm gonna lose my hair like Sebastian Bell, and then, <laughs> uh, no, what are we doing? That is not COVID secure, don't do that at home. We are gonna set a block with Jake's holds that he's made with his bare hands. Go on, show his us. His husky over, man hands. Over lockdown, I had, I had some inspiration from some holds in Japan and in, in France. Uh, we can't get them in the UK, so I thought I'd just make them. So they're basically, they're basically strips of plywood with, uh, with volume texture. And they're kind of modular, so you can sort of slot, slot the smaller guys up against the edges and uh, create something artistic. And they would look good on a comp wall. They look professional. They feel pretty good. Yeah, I'm quite happy first time. But I had a lot of advice, and uh, I had help from the Yonder workshop. Nice. Nice. They let me. Use is this it. your first time setting with them? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to set. These guys are going to set. I'm going to oh. let them let them have it. What if we break your holes? <laughs> just trash him. Go, go oh. hard. All right then. Uh, one lot, uh, one lot. <laughs> I'm a bit. We might get a couple of days setting on this bit of wall. Mm. We're not sure yet, but over over the course, we're going to try and set a couple of blocks um, that will stay up for hopefully reopening April 16th. Something like it's that. April 12th. I think yeah. it's 12. Something like that. Of course. Maybe we'll see. We'll see what Big Bojo says. What do you guys think you're going to do this? Are you going to all work together to set? Or are you going to do it in sections? What do you think? Yeah, we're going to work together as a team. As one team. Yeah. <laughs> so, Tom and B are going to do the setting and Jacob Fincher? What do you mean? <laughs> I, I've already figured out which holds I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one. Uh, this one. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah these are yeah, quite a look, at, look at these ones. <laughs> I've done a classic Tom, and I'm just going to go full control freak as usual. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like we could maybe we could set something that kind of like like uses the lines of the wall that can come up, come down, mm. and then like, Ooh, you know? That's a good thing. Got, they're quite long, so it might be interesting to try and use like. Yeah, you don't use a lot of blocks. And also, though. yeah, the, the, the kind of like. Like you can kind of turn it into like different. Different like different little, yeah. different little bits. You're gonna have to, otherwise you're gonna be able to use the whole thing, right? Yeah. yeah. You can use that as a foot. What are the jibs for, Jake? Well, I think you'll need maybe some yeah. some little feet here and there just to yeah. Yeah. aid with the setting maybe. process. I think I said that already. Are you gonna make some feet at home one day, or? Yeah, I've been shaping some feet, but I I just need some advice on how to pour polyurethane and make them really good. Jesus, man. I've got some good foam. You're so. such a maker these days. Jake of the maker. Well, what I, was, is... I was trying to think of making PU holds that are like really small, like, but also um, slot against these, so it's Ooh. like ultra modular. That's you know? cool. I was thinking we could have like two things on the right, different angle, like a little curve going on okay. here. Yeah, nice, I'm into it. I'm and into it. maybe like, yeah, we start down here somewhere. How about you just do it along this, this, uh, this thing here, and just do like a layback. Yeah, yeah. Got another one on here. Yeah, bash that on, and then let's let's have a guy out. Let's have a guy. I reckon go slightly steeper, and then let's yeah. have a guy out here. Yeah. And then we can get that. Hey guys. This year, it's been quite hard to get noticed as a sausage maker, and you know what? I think I found a solution. Squarespace.com. It's such a good way to get your business out there. They have a drag and drop interface that makes it really easy to show off all the pictures of your favorite sausages. They also have really good tools to have a built-in store so you don't have to faff around with any coding or any complicated stuff, but you still get to sell your sausages. It's amazing. So if this sounds interesting and you want to get out there this year, enter the code BOLDWINGBOBAD at checkout and you'll get 10% off your first purchase. So thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video and remember to enter our code if you want money off. All right, back to the video. <laughs> or is that actually not really wide enough? Oh, JP, oh, can you spam? Yeah, is that wide? Yeah, that's wide. It doesn't, it doesn't feel wide to me. Wide wide. This is fucking steep as well. That's really wide. That's not <laughs> oh, Okay. I was like, this is micro compression, but JP was massive, so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring it, we'll bring it in. So 
uh, so far we don't really have a start, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, the idea is to start on this thing, uh, you come out to the bottom of this big rail, um, and then bump again to the middle of that rail. Not like that. Not like um, that. Yeah, to the middle of the left rail. Oh, it's this. I think, oh. I think, that's what I, as in, you get your, hand, your right hand to the top of that. Yeah. yeah, and then you bump, bump to the to middle there. of the left rail, and then bump, bump into there, yeah. get a turf hook in, and then hopefully, and then you hopefully into roll that. into this guy. But this, this is probably going to be quite hard. So yeah. it's going to be a wall. I wonder if we if we stacked three of these. Do you reckon? Now nah, probably it's too close. I was I was thinking maybe you'd be able to just hold that, as like compress on this alone, but on that steeper wall, I don't think that'd be possible. But if they were um, like splayed. Yeah, or like. Could make oh a little arc oh make a little fan what about ah is that one no, well, I, mean, I guess there needs too many options yeah. yeah it looks cool though yeah it does I don't know if that's like not enough options though I suppose what you do is you do that wait and then I like this <laughs> like this so you got one two and then you could like you could like block a bit of one. Oh yeah, so you got like a, an under and a no, yeah, yeah, yeah. day and then if that version is no good you have to do it again so you, like a week later you got to do another one bloody hell man you know <laughs> no i don't know but it, no. had, it adds up it adds up the last thing i made was like a joint i think <laughs> <laughs> the feng shui is completely off bro <laughs> what have you oh. found what have you found there oh. BJ? Oh. oh let me oh. see oh. let me oh. see him oh. everyone's losing their shit dude oh. 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 Dude, I think you just invented sliced bread, my man. Yeah, baby. Pedrick, what's new, mate? Uh, so we just shifted all these up a bit because uh, the start was so like bunched and horrible, mm -hmm. uh, and it should give us a bit more options in terms of how we start it. I think now. Space created. Uh, yeah. So Tom, what are these tiny changes you've been doing? So we're just we're just spacing out the middle section, and then we're just going to add a finish, and then we're going to tweak. It's looking very looking very artistic. I like it. Yeah, artistic. We're, we're testing, but I'm going to film just in case uh, they suddenly send it, which apparently might be possible. Yeah. Oh, my toe hurts. <laughs> that is a hard start. It's good shot. <laughs> oh, Alec! The foot's the wrong angle. I told you. Big difference. Here we go. Then which way? Like, it's like turned down a bit. Maybe? Yeah, like that. And then you can, like... Yeah, I think we need it. It's because you, you lose this once you're up to here, and uh, I think this is too high. You moved, uh, you just moved everything in a little bit more of an angle, right? So you can get a bit of grip. Yeah, we've flattened everything so they're easier. Maybe if you could engage the thumb on that, I think we'll be able to get it. Oh, this moves hard. This is so steep. <laughs> Sexy. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks fun. How's that fit? 
Uh, Jake, what were the last changes you just did there before B goes for his absolute savage attempt? Um, so we slotted this guy on the right. Yeah. Just mainly because we wanted to use all the holds, but also it looks quite good. Um, I added this little foot so you can drop knee between the start holds and uh, yeah, the foot so you can get up to the, the lip statically-ish. Mm -hmm. And then I added another long bar um, to gain height for the last move and then uh, yeah, just to cap the top yeah, hold to man. use all the holds. So you're bloody artiste, bro. Chef's kisses from you, my man. This holds in, right? Yeah. <laughs> Slot now. Yeah, it's so much more intimidating. Oh no! <laughs> the slot makes it so much harder. Fuck. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, B. Yes, B! Yeah. Yes, B! Oh. What grade is that? Yeah, I don't know, probably like... Cheers, man. Big props, dude. Cheers, man! You get to, you get to name it now. Maybe like a seven or an eight. Yeah, what's the score? Uh, F.A. First female ascent. <laughs> 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 the Black Death. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. The hand. I really hope I got that in frame. Yeah, I just, um, on the top it was a bit of a rookie mistake. I went really wide. And there was no way of me moving my right hand without like my foot popping. Mm. I should have just done little moves like that. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I haven't done the second bit in like so long now. <laughs> I'm gonna get one more go. Nice one, bro. I'm just trying to remember how to do the second bit. Do it. What up, what up, what up, what up? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm tired. Yeah. Good effort, though. Went very well. That's a hell of a block. There's a lot going on slots, crosses, drop knees. 
Compression. So the whole lot, compression bumps. bumps. It's like the complete issue, you know? And now you've set with your own holds, what would you change if you were going to do them again? Um, I don't know yet because I think they need more testing. They're a bit <laughs> sharp and I can't tell if it's because they meet at a 90 degree angle with a bit of a bevel or maybe they just need some wearing in like normal volumes. That's cool, man. Well, I'm really, really good. I'm really happy you start building your own holds. It's cool. Well, uh, you guys should comment down below if you want Jake to, like, I don't know, make some yeah, hold well, based on his face. If you want a video about us making more holds. If we could make holds together, that'd be great. This problem is going to stay up. Uh, hopefully it'll be here when it opens and you all get to try it. Uh, if you do, send us your clip on Instagram so we can repost it. And next week we will be back and we'll set some more stuff in like the V3 to V5 kind of range. So. This is going to be like Bowback Corner. Yeah. <laughs> Bowback Corner. Good, good little session with the boys today. Um, yeah, I think it went quite well. Uh, we had, a, we had a, a good climb and that, but I'm quite tired now and I think uh, I'm, I'm really hungry. So I'm excited to go and like get some, maybe like a cheese and onion sandwich, I think. Be good.